okay cool so let's hit let's hit traffic let's hit tra and then you can you can either title everything below or or do it as you go but it's, it's up to you you tell me yeah hit the drop down and just let's title everything now okay um so this will be specific to this specific webinar so yeah so whatever i i kind of do this on whatever the video is so whatever is going to help you because this isn't this is going to have a specific end date this is just going to go for seven days yeah that's fine all you're doing is just naming it so whatever so in here in the parentheses i put traffic i just name that normally whatever video it is so okay. perfect so traffic and then scroll down so you have two other it's fine you can name them as we go but there was two more below that oh, oh my bad no it's all good so right here okay so now we're gonna we don't need any special ad category so scroll down and then you can leave that one off just go next okay and this is yeah just name it at the top what what do you usually use for the name on this one same thing um well in the second tab which is this ad set title i normally name it like all whatever helps you identify it when you're looking at the dashboard so whether it's the city you're going to target or whether it's the country you're targeting or whether it's the the demographics you're targeting the gender like whatever is going to help you like know what ad this is when you're looking at it at it at the, on the dashboard side so yeah retarget it perfect retarget it okay so scroll down and then we don't need any dynamic creative um you can go daily budget you can go lifetime budget up to you same dollar amount um and then just go um and then also here's another thing to keep in mind here's an, here's here, here's a, a yeah really good thing to keep in mind uh -huh. when you're retargeting a, a an audience it kind of, it's not that it doesn't matter what your budget is, but you can kind of set it for almost whatever, not too, too low, not too, too low, but it kind of doesn't matter on the, on the, on the, on the maximum, because even if you put it at $75 and let's say that audience wasn't even as big enough, it wasn't big enough to even use all the 75 bucks, Facebook won't spend all the 75 bucks. Okay. Yeah. So they, they won't spend that entire budget if, if the audience isn't even you know, big enough. So you don't need to put a whole lot right there. So lifetime, 75 bucks. Perfect. Let's see if they even spend it. So, but yeah, for sure. Set the date, the ninth, um, 6 AM and then, and then yeah, stretch it out seven days. Yeah. So let's see if, if they even spend that full 75 bucks, they probably, they probably, they probably won't, they probably won't. Cause that's, that's, that's over 10 bucks a day. That's like 11, 12 bucks a day. So yeah, they probably, they probably, yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out if they even spend it all. Okay, cool. Now, so, webinar is April 15th at 4 p.m. Okay, perfect. Should I run right up to 3 p.m.? Actually, I would go straight up to 4. Like, straight up to 4. Like, yeah, perfect. It'll stop right at 4. Okay, cool. So, scroll down, and then um, right there in the audience, custom audience, all you're going to do is click on that, and then find your, find your custom audience, which we're going... Um, Right here, you see all of them, but as you build out a shitload, then you'll want to click on custom audience at the top to really see which one it is, but this is fine. So yeah, right there, the 25%, yeah, it's the same thing. So that's cool right there. And then um, you, it might be a good idea now to exclude, to exclude anyone who, who has landed on um, that thank you page. So your where's it at it's the um it would be it would be your paying subscribe no it wouldn't be the look alike. it'd be yeah it'd be paying subscribers and um would it be demo requests as well is a demo request request a lead yeah but no one's ever clicked on it that's okay like an thing right okay. now perfect so then paying subscribers is is who is who you'll for sure um exclude okay cool so then locations this is where you would choose you know any other location or if you're running any other locations? Um, well, this is where we wanted to do Australia. Uh, and and what we'll do also here, let, let's, let's do this. Let's, um, let's go ahead and, and, and we'll re we're retargeting, we're retargeting. So that would be good for conversions, but that would also be good to set up as multiple ad sets. 
So you'll want to separate those. Take away Australia. In this yeah. case, you're only you're running traffic and you're retargeting a custom audience. So wherever that custom audience may be, that's the location you want to you want to put. So yeah. is anyone in that custom audience in these in, in any other country? I think we did. I think the video is global. Is that how you ran it? You ran it worldwide? I thought we did, but I could be wrong. Um, Want me to go back and check? Yeah, you might as well check real quick because whatever whatever that targeting was is what you want to match up over here. So let's um, yeah, click on click on the edit. Yeah, go to that and just click on. Actually, um, check the box to the left. Check the box to the very very left, and then click on the middle tab, ad sets, the middle tab. Yeah, right. right here. So click on the edit below the title here. Yeah, targeting PJ golfers. Let's um, click on edit and then let's find out down here. Okay, so down here we have yeah. Okay, so then so then in that case you'll want to just go and you went um, scroll down. You went all genders. You went English English all. Okay, cool. So then let's set let's set the same. Yeah, this is. I'm glad we looked at this. So let's do the same for this. So let's just scroll down and go worldwide. And then um, go English all, and then um, and leave it as 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 is. So yeah, you can leave that. You can leave that as is. But take away Japan and just type in um, worldwide there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So always hit the drop down. Always hit region. Um, that's the one you're looking for. And then scroll down. And then just change it to English all. Uh, I think it's sixty four. Um. Okay, and normally when you're retargeting. You don't really need to put anything else other than other than the country or countries or worldwide, but the age you shouldn't have to change the age. English all, um, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Okay, so we're good on everything else. So automatic, you can leave it at that, and then that's it. So hit next. Oops. And then just. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you can go to just name that. Okay. okay, cool. And then create ad right there. Hit hit that drop down and just go existing. And then that's um and then select post. You'll see it to the left. Select post. Yeah, right there. Awesome. And then just add your um, add button, your call to action button, and and then um, and then that's it. Can we change this copy here? Um, dude, that should have been done before. Um, let's see if we can go to your business page and change it. You may not be able to at this point, unless we just completely turn this ad off or or, or delete it. And then start it again, which we could totally do that, but let's just double check. Refresh this page real quick. Just refresh it. Well, I, I meant more like, like I want to have a general language on the Facebook page, but have specific language on the ad. Well, that is the ad. So, so can we just the video and create a new instead of using the post. Can we just create a put the video up and do different copy or no? You can. You can. But the moment you shut that ad off, it's it's off, right? So it's not on the page anymore. I just always put it on the page because yeah. you're spending money on it. So you might as well leave it on the page well uh, well after it's off. But you can you see if you can hit the three dots, see if you can edit this. Yes, just just see if you can edit post. Yeah, perfect. So let's see if it allows you to. 
but you wouldn't have copy that's specific to this webinar yeah hell yeah i would like so whatever yeah dude for sure i thought it was already specific i thought you already set it up is proud no, to like, launch our live webinar series featuring okay so check like, out our video to learn more this video uh this webinar is featuring a pga professional mm -hmm. doing a lesson on board game mm -hmm. okay but you wouldn't put you wouldn't put that in in here yeah, for sure. Like for sure, for sure. So whatever, this is the ad. So this, this post, this is the ad. So whatever you want it to say there for sure, like put it in. Okay. So like when I made this post on my Facebook page, it was more of just like a general post just to have it up there. Okay. So, um, now let's, if, if that's the video we're going to use, then yeah, let's just edit this text and make it make it more specific to registering. But I think, I mean, that's pretty specific as well. I don't know. Well, you can add whatever else you want, but um, yeah, whatever we put here, that that's the ad. All right. I mean, now, I could leave it like this and then the image one be, you know, more specific. Yeah, you could, you could do that, but um, you can also do it here. So whatever you want. You let me know. You, what do you think? Because I, I mean, yeah. I always had it as like the general stuff goes on my Facebook page, and then the specific stuff goes in my ads. No, it's it's one. It's just it's one. Whatever video you're going to use for an ad, write out that text as if it's an ad right now. Like, so as you posted this, whenever you did, if you knew this was going to be a video ad, then write out that text. Well, it is a video ad and it goes, I believe it goes to our, our schedule of all of our webinars. Now I'm, I want to do an ad specific for this one specific webinar coming up. Okay. So then, um, so then repost it on the page, then repost the video again on, which I don't think you can, I don't know if, you, let's see if it allows you to post this. I'm pretty sure you can. Pretty sure you can. You could post the same video again. Yeah, for sure. You you could do that. So yeah. So just upload it to the business page again, and then just write out the text. Write out the text specific for that webinar. Uh, 